Here, criminals would use different methods, such as phishing emails, spam calls, ads, and promotions to trick you into giving them your undivided trust, which can lead to severe consequences. Hey everyone, welcome back. And in today's video, we're gonna be talking about the different techniques that would help you detect ransomware attacks. Now in the ever evolving landscape of cybersecurity, one of the most pervasive and damaging threats is ransomware. This malicious software encrypts a victim's file, rendering them inaccessible until a ransom is paid to the attacker. As organizations and individuals increasingly rely on digital data, the impact of ransomware attacks has escalated, making the developments of effective detection techniques extremely important. And so in this video, we're going to be exploring the various ransomware detection techniques, ranging from traditional signature-based methods to more advanced behavioral analysis and machine learning approaches. But before we get into the video, if you want to protect yourself from ransomware and any other type of malware, the most effective and efficient way to do that would be using a reliable antivirus software. So if you don't already have one or are looking for some suggestions, I'll leave some in-depth reviews on antiviruses that I personally recommend in the description down below, along with some discounts, so make sure to check those out. Okay, so for our first detection method, we have signature-based detection. Signature-based detection is the oldest and most straightforward method of identifying ransomware. It involves creating unique signatures or patterns that match known ransomware strains. Antivirus programs, a common implantation of this technique, compare files against a database of signatures and if they find a match, the file is flagged as potentially malicious. While it is effective against known ransomware variants, signature-based detection has some limitations. It relies on a comprehensive and up-to-date signature database, meaning it may fail to detect new or polymorphic strains that can alter their signatures to evade detection. As attackers continually refine their tactics, signature-based methods alone are no longer enough for effective protection. Next, we have heuristic-based detection, which is a more dynamic approach that focuses on identifying ransomware based on its behavior rather than predefined signatures. This method uses a set of rules or heuristics to detect suspicious activities, such as rapid file encryption or unusual network behavior. By analyzing the behavior of programs in real time, heuristic-based detection can uncover previously unknown ransomware strains. However, it may also generate false positives, as legitimate software can sometimes exhibit behaviors that trigger these heuristics. Striking a balance between a sensitivity and specificity is really important for making sure there's accurate detection without causing unnecessary alarm. Then you have behavior analysis, which takes heuristic-based detection a step further by comprehensively monitoring the behavior of programs and processes. This technique looks to identify ransomware not only during the encryption process, but also throughout its entire life cycle, from infiltration to data exfiltration or ransom payment. Behavior analysis can be both static and dynamic. Static analysis examines the code and characteristics of a program without executing it, while dynamic analysis observes the program's behavior in a controlled environment. The combination of static and dynamic behavior analysis improves detection accuracy as it examines the malware activities in detail. Now, before we continue with the other detection methods, let's take a quick break to talk about today's sponsor. Surfshark One. Surfshark One is a bundle that includes almost all of your cybersecurity needs, from a reputable antivirus to even an ad blocker. While there isn't one tool that can completely guarantee your privacy, having all them together in one neat package can greatly enhance your cybersecurity. And that's why Surfshark is offering five products in one package. So why pay for them individually when you could get them in one simple, neatly packaged bouquet? This package includes the award-winning Surfshark VPN, which allows unlimited devices, data speed, and protection. The Surfshark antivirus that secures everything on your devices from your webcam to your files. The Surfshark private search engine, which allows you to browse ad-free without any digital footprint. Instant data leak notifications with Surfshark alert. And Surfshark alternative ID, which can generate a whole new online identity and proxy email for you. 
The best part about this is that this bundle comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee, and all these apps work on all major platforms like Windows, Mac OS, and Android. So if you'd like to check them out, I'll be leaving the bundle link at the top of the description down below. Big thanks to Surfshark for being today's sponsor, and let's get back to the video. For our next method, we have anomaly detection, which is a proactive approach that aims to identify deviations from normal system behavior. By establishing a baseline of typical activities, any abnormal patterns can be flagged as potential ransomware threats. Machine learning algorithms are usually employed here to analyze large data sets and detect subtle deviations that may go unnoticed by traditional methods. The strength of anomaly detection lies in its ability to adapt to evolving ransomware tactics. However, establishing an accurate baseline can get a little challenging since legitimate variants in system behavior must be distinguished from malicious activities. And so, continuous monitoring and machine learning refinement are extremely important for maintaining the effectiveness of anomaly detection over time. For our fifth method, we have machine learning, which represents a huge shift in ransomware detection by using algorithms that can learn and adapt without explicit programming. These algorithms analyze huge data sets to identify patterns and correlations, allowing them to predict potential ransomware threats based on these learned behaviors. Two of the most common approaches to machine learning detection are supervised learning, where models are trained on labeled data sets, and unsupervised learning, where models identify patterns without predefined labels. The strength of machine learning is basically its ability to detect previously unknown ransomware variants and adopt to the emerging threat. However, it requires continuous training and refinement to stay ahead of evolving attack techniques. Another detection method would be through threat intelligence, which involves gathering and analyzing information about potential cybersecurity threats. By integrating threat intelligence into ransomware detection systems, organizations can benefit from the collective knowledge of cybersecurity community. This includes information on known ransomware strains, their tactics, techniques, and procedures, and indicators of compromise also known as IOCs. To put it simply, threat intelligence enhances the accuracy of detection by providing context and real-time updates on the latest threat. Here, collaboration within the cybersecurity community is essential for sharing threat intelligence and collectively strengthening defense against ransomware attacks. And finally, we have the human firewall, which relies on user education and awareness. While technological solutions play an important role in ransomware detection, user education and awareness are just as important. Many ransomware attacks would take advantage of human vulnerabilities through the evil art of social engineering. Here, criminals would use different methods, such as phishing emails, spam calls, ads, and promotions to trick you into giving them your undivided trust, which can lead to severe consequences. And so educating users about the risks, recognizing phishing attempts, and promoting secure online behavior would contribute to building an effective human firewall. And having regular training sessions, simulated phishing exercises, and clear communication about cybersecurity policies would empower users to act as the first line of defense against ransomware. And that's basically it for today's video on the different detection methods for ransomware attacks. Don't forget that the most efficient and effective method to deal with ransomware and any other type of malware is by using a reliable antivirus. So if you're looking for some suggestions, I'll be leaving some in-depth reviews on antiviruses that I personally recommend in the description down below, along with some discounts, so make sure to check them out. Also, if you like the content or found it useful, make sure to like the video and subscribe to see more of it. And if you have any questions or suggestions, don't hesitate to leave them in the comments as I love to interact with you guys. And that will be all for today, and I'll see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day.